Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back. Today we're gonna do a tea tasting. I haven't done a tea tasting for a while. It's been a while. Yeah, uh, a fun one. Phil wouldn't know uh, what tea we're gonna taste. And why do I wanna do this? Because when I first tasted this tea... So that you can watch me squirm. <laughs> and... When I first tasted this tea, I got really confused and I thought it's a very... Besides it's a very tasty, interesting tea, there's also some... It's, it raises an interesting topic. Anyway, you will see. And I, want, I wonder if he will recognize it. He tasted this so. tea before. He... If he no has... No pressure. No pressure. Right. Right. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, so let's get the kettle on. If you uh, like our channel and you are... Uh, no, if you're <laughs> if you're new to our channel, we specialize in tasting great Chinese tea. We have a website, link is down below. You can find all kinds of great teas there on our YouTube channel here. We cover things like tea travel, how to brew, uh, we do tea tastings, and much, much more. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing, click the thumbs up, and hit the notify bell so you'll know whenever we make a new video. Let's get the kettle on. rings and I think you can have a look I'm gonna at examine the, the leaf, leaf while she warms up the teaware mm. and rinses it. So pretty wacky leaf. Um, I don't remember it right away. We've got a nice variety of colorations, some dark, pretty um, uh, dried and small leaf, some reddish leaf and even some, I don't know what color this is, but some sort of uh, like greenish, Bud, look like bud. Not much aroma on the dry leaf, so I'm gonna be looking forward to the aroma from the warmed up guy one. Hopefully, will be helpful. Um, really, not sure what to guess. I can see why it threw you off. The leaf is uh, fairly interesting looking. <laughs> I was uh, I was gonna say the leaf is really telling of this tea roughly. Oh boy. Here we go. I'm gonna have another one. <laughs> really gentle. I Very I gentle. didn't uh, put a big amount. Mm -hmm. uh, look at how much tea leaves I put in that might give you a hint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which I uh, don't don't think too much. I'm, I'm not just being think too much. normal. No, I'm normally gonna... that would give me a hint of a. Because I know what it is and uh, how much leaf I choose to brew this. Yeah. Yeah. I have that gentle, uh, concentrated, like I would call it dried stone fruit, sweet. Very gentle. But... Yeah, very gentle, sweet. I'm really, really weak on the aroma here. Didn't get much. Gentle, sweet. Yeah, a little plummy stone fruit. It's a plum. So here's my strategy, folks. I'm not going to shoot out a bunch of guesses early. I'm going to collect information and try to come up with a couple good guesses later on. So like we said, we've got a interesting variety of leaf color. Right. We do have a small leaf amount in the guy one, which is... I also consider because this is evening, so I also tune down a little bit mm. more. So Yeah. Usually our go-to tea would be like a shupu or something with a low caffeine that doesn't. You get less uh, sensitive with caffeine. Yeah, I'm also. not too bad lately, so we'll see how it goes. I'm also kind of watching. So this is a guessing game. This isn't maybe how you would approach an unknown tea, but I'm watching her steep time, mm -hmm. tea amount. These are parameters that are kind of bonus for me to guess with. Looking at that liquor color, it's sort of a pretty solid gold. <laughs> <laughs> like the Rockettes. No, it's uh, like a pretty sturdy gold color though, not what I would call a light gold, but not orange, really not very in the mm. orange domain. Yeah, just a really solid, deep yellow gold. Which cup do you like today? I will have the yellow cup to match the tea. <laughs> okay, let's just finish this brew. Yeah, you bet. First infusion, here we go. Mm. Tea amount. Mm. I think I'm getting close. 
I think I'm getting close. Like one sip, like you smell yeah, this, I think once you, I sip you kind it, of know, know what and tea this is, and you sip it, it's pretty much I, instant. Yeah, I don't and think I was it can leaning towards like it has black, elements of black when I'm looking at the color, but now I don't think it's a black tea. Mm, I still think I'm right. <laughs> This tea is very likely inspired by a recent correspondence we received. That's mm. my feeling. Okay, so when you say that, I kind of know you guessed it. It's Taiwan. Right? Yeah. Am I right? It's a Taiwan tea. Yeah. I'm just going to dial in the... Uh... I just have to be careful. I'm not really strong with my Taiwan tea, so I might mix up the one that it is. It's not a Bai Hao Oolong. Is it a Bai Hao? It's the other one. It's the... the I'm not telling you yes or no till you can deliver your final guess, okay? Let me, let me just think on this. This is really nice though. <laughs> I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit happy that he... He doesn't remember this tea. Because no, we don't. had this I tea really and I told you a lot about this tea. And I, I wish... One of the reasons I'm shooting this is I kind of trust you that you won't remember this. I think I got the and, name that, of what I think it is. Yeah. I still don't know if I'm right, but I think it's Oriental Beauty. Yes, which is by Hao Wulong. Oh, it is it by Hao Wulong. The there we go. It, the okay. Oriental Beauty is by Hao Wulong. Dongfang Mei Ren. It's Oriental Beauty. Say that again. Dongfang Mei Ren is the... Dongfang Mei Ren. Is the... Chinese version of Oriental Beauty by Hao Wulong, is, which is mm. the nickname of the tea. The tea is uh, uh, like called by Hao Wulong. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Both are named nowadays. There is no much difference, right. I guess. Nice. Well. So is that your thanks for guess? tuning in, the guys. <laughs> no, just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> we got lots guess? more. Yeah, that's my guess. That's my. It's really guess. telling, right? Yeah, it's telling. It's and. Um, and the leaf is quite different than teas we have normally. Like it's really, it had those silver buds. I assume those were. And you smell everything. Mm, it's more, it's more, um, it's not booming. It's not a booming aroma, but it's a nice aroma. Like it's a very, I don't know if people think when I say it's not a booming aroma, that that's a mm. bad thing for me. And I think for you, for me, it's good. That the aroma, I don't want the aroma booming out of the guy one. That usually means I'm going to get one, two infusions and dead and probably lightly roasted and all that. This is, mm. this was really a little bit greedy with its aroma. It keeps it close to the leaf and in the I liquor. think personally, I just mm. don't care much in terms of is it booming or not. It's a, mm. a, it's a factor that I don't consider. I right. enjoy that. I don't mind or negative, but I care about my sipping. Mm. Mm. In the sense that you don't want, you want some something in the sip, mm -hmm. right? You mm -hmm. want, and we have something here. Well, if you can have a, a tea that really like a, really booming and still don't affect the right. the, the tea, I don't mind. But right. a lot of times it's overly flowing and uh, lack of support when right. you taste it. Right. So is that your final guess? Oh yeah, I said it many times. Okay, okay. Well, as you know about me. <laughs> is she tricky? I think I got tricked. Uh, I imagine this is an interesting tea mm -hmm. and it has an interesting topic that could be fun to talk about. And I keep asking you, I was a little bit hasty, I keep asking you, is this your answer, is this your answer, is this your answer? Because, da 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 da, this is not a Taiwanese tea. Oh. <laughs> you remember that? A little bit. Yes. So, final reveal. This tea, like you taste it, like you see, like you taste oh. it, and you smell everything. This is a Bai Hao Wulong, no issue at all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? However, strictly speaking, it is not. It's not grown in Taiwan. <laughs> so it's not. Uh, however, 
it's up to you to say is is it by how long or not. But right, this right. is not growing in Taiwan. This is a, a actually a Tie Guan Yin tea. Tie Guan Yin that a cultivar made into Bai Hao Wulong. Using the Bai Hao Wulong process. Process, okay. yes. And the plucking standard cool. and process. So when, the, and when I first tasted I didn't, uh, I, I also thought it was uh, Bai Hao Wulong because we sometimes buy, because mm. uh, we like a uh, uh, Taiwan Wulong tea and uh, sometimes oh, yeah. we we'll even sample some here and we buy a lot of it. Most of them taste like that. I don't I don't feel like I bought some exquisite uh Bai Hao Wulong here before. So it wouldn't be surprising mm. for me. But uh, this one with the Sorry, what was that? You you What? I missed the uh you don't you wouldn't say this one's exp I missed the Oh sorry, sorry. Maybe I didn't say that clear. What I mean is like the Bai Hao Wulong we've sampled here in North America. Mm, right. We've uh, bought some, we've tried some right, and right, different yes. things. I I haven't uh, had a really anyone that stands out that for me was right, like, oh right. that was a really mm -hmm. good Bai Hao Wulong. Those mm -hmm. are Bai Hao Wulong. You know, it's just right, a right. tea. So sure. when I drink this, I thought it was just like uh, those ones. Right. Actually, it actually tastes better than mm -hmm. some of the, the teas I bought here. So I was pretty uh, interested in this tea. And when I heard that this is from Anxi made with, entirely made with the Tie Guan Yin cultivar, I was uh, like, That's wow. That's a bit shocking, right? Right? Mm. So when we've tasted Guan Yin Hong and Tai Guan Yin in the past, there were some some elements of detectable, mm. it seems. Like the this one I wouldn't I don't think I would have ever guessed that. That it's from I don't even taste much like a Tai Guan Yin that called it. No, no. I do want to plug one of our super old videos though, because we're talking mm. about by how oolong. And it's oh. probably the best by how long you've ever had in North America, but it doesn't really count because it was her mom who brought it here, mm, and we did a tasting. It. All three of us, I believe, we had four by how oolongs that night. Yeah, yeah. I was a little tea baby at that time. <laughs> I didn't know really. I was that was what 2015, no 2017. Anyway, I was learning mm -hmm. rapidly. I still am, and that was super fun. Um, yeah, yeah, those, um, if uh, you ask me, that was the last time I had uh, some, I would say, good. Yeah, yeah. Bai Hao Wulong. Like shocking, a little bit shocking. Yes, the, yes. Especially that the was really a gift nice from a, a Taiwanese mm. producer. Yeah. To, and um, <laughs> the interesting thing is, like, I, mm. we were really interested to source that tea to really have this tea because Bai Hao Wulong is one of my favorite teas of Taiwan. Mm. When I was uh, mm. younger, when I first had it, it was uh, so different than mm. the, you know, those uh, mainland oolongs. Yeah. It's so different yeah, in style, really in different. taste, and yep. it's so wonderful. And I always love it. But that producer, uh, he, ha he has uh, his uh, uh, tea farms, but he doesn't manage it. There's monkeys in his tea farm. Anyways, he doesn't manage it. He just uh, the monkeys are related to no, him. not related. Just, just to say, it doesn't. It pretty much a wild kind of thing. Nobody's managed it. He most of the, his time he's in uh, mainland and uh, uh, teaching people making Taiwanese style tea. So, and the package of this tea is also like. Uh, uh, a written Dong Fang Meiren. So I just uh, took it as it is and I was like, oh, oh. weird. So oftentimes, you know, when we uh, mail teas and stuff, there's tons of samples and uh, uh, it's not rare that my mom put uh, Taiwanese samples and stuff like that. So I just assumed it is. So I was asking her what it is. And when she told me this is Anxi Tiguayi made in that style, I'm like, wow. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The worst thing that can happen is when you try to pour and somebody retrieve the cup. I just felt it was in an awkward position oh, for you, okay. but I often do that. It's okay. really bad habit. <laughs> but the tea is really opening up nicely now. Mm. I have to say the uh, second infusion. And the color goes it's deepening. deeper. Yeah. Now we're into right. the orange domain. Yeah. 
and the uh, se second infusion was really delivering. Um, I didn't uh, describe too much about this. Yeah, yeah I forgot about that. It's, but it's really booming. Yeah, it really had that mouth. sweetness and a little bit of that. I'm not sure if it's from the tang one yet, but it had a hint of that. I don't, I, I'm going to use the word tart for lack of a better word, but it wasn't right. ultra tart. Just like the sweetness was subdued mm. with or balanced with this other, that sort of counteracting flavor and mm. made that really nice, uh, a subtle fruitiness. Not as, I remember other um, Biohouse I've had are like very sweet, almost pushing a black tea sweetness. Mm -hmm. um, this one seems much more like gently sweet, elegantly sweet. The, so it has that, mm. just not quite to that degree, I'd say. Mm. I found that it's very fruity sweet for me. Really? Really fruity sweet mm. um, for a tea. Quite a floral as well. Very mm. high, high kind mm. of a floral, yeah. but underneath it has that uh, almost a black tea, fruity sweet. Mm. And quite lingering. Like a... Mm. The mouth feels really lovely. It's a nice, thick, full... You know, it's... <laughs> Excuse me. Nice, thick, full, brothy, <laughs> like plenty of substance in this, in this tea liquor. Hmm. It's been Very a nice set. Like mm. I wouldn't, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't have this tea and I feel like, oh my God, I finally find that, that, uh, that a buy how taste that I, mm. I, I missed for so many years. No, but it's definitely a great drinking tea. Mm. No issue with mm. that. Oh. We have three infusions, right? Four? This three. is the third here. Third. Yeah. In the I'm gonna do a fourth. Sure. I'm gonna I think that might be it for a little because refill. And I'm gonna... I wanted to Yeah. Oh, I was gonna smell the brood leaf, but now it's You infusing. wanna smell the infusing yeah. leaf though? Maybe the lid. The lid, yeah. Hmm. A little sweetness, a little floral. Yeah, really, rather light. Yeah, pretty right, light. I would say. Yeah. It expanded pretty well. Mm, it's pretty open. You could taste the liquor opening up too, between the first and the second and the third. Mm. Mm. I have the sweetness, definitely. I just don't feel like like some of them are really, I don't know. I'm, it could be I'm misremembering. It's been a while since I've had other Bai Hao Oolong, but some mm -hmm. of them really push that sweetness and the liquor color also of some of them is quite red. This one I think is a nice deep gold. Red. Voila. I think it, the tea can keep going for a little mm. bit. I thought that this might be it, but I think I'm gonna do one more. Mm-hmm. I agree. Wanna so, have a smell of the Yeah. Honey? yeah. Really nice sip. Probably a little hot. I like to smell it hot but then cooler as well. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause when it's super hot, all I really get is steam. <laughs> Just give it a minute. Yeah. Do you like? Yeah. I couldn't, no, I, I, I wouldn't say, oh, I get a steam. When it's no. really hot, you just have to be careful. Don't yep. stick the nose right there. The steam is going to be shock, shocking to your nose, but you can still smell and at the different temperatures, mm -hmm. the, the aroma of the tea is very different, I would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some nice high notes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's the trouble. I think I always just jam my nose right into the sweltering hot guy one and I just get a big blast. <laughs> you gotta be careful. Mm. Mm. Yeah. The leaf are really pretty. More, um, you can see the dark ones are now dark brown and the red ones are open up and still pretty much red. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the silvery and have a ones. And silvery 
one. The silver is the the buds, the right? Buds. So you the, can see the, the little the, buds in here. And yeah. you can see the the trichrome. The fuzz. Right? Yeah, the nice. fuzz. This is the fourth infusion, so not as much. The first one was pretty obvious. Mm. And usually the Bai Hao Wulong is quite colorful in terms of the colors. You mean the variety of leaf color? Yeah. Mm. The process kind of dictates that. And the funny thing is, funny? I don't think that's funny. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying the funny thing. Oftentimes, people, what people don't know is actually there's a lots of farms and uh, you know producers and they in mainland and they make a lot of uh, Taiwan teas and export to Taiwan, and then mm. like this, you know, right. because we have more land and more sure. production. Yeah. So I'm actually preparing a video. Many of you are interested in. Why we have a green tea called non longji mm -hmm. So it's kind of a similar phenomenon. I'm right? glad you mentioned that because I was going to mention right. that as well. That's really interesting. Like there's a parallel there. Yeah, yeah. Some famous tea regions and uh, their production is low and you know, tea from different... Anyway, I'm going to uh, explain the longji scenario in that video. But in this is a very... In this case, is a lot of uh, there's a good amount of uh, um, you know Taiwan teas. You might you might purchase that tea in Taiwan, but it doesn't necessarily make that tea a Taiwanese tea mm -hmm. because it might not be grown or it might not be grown and processed in Taiwan. So I think that's a more behind the scene, a little bit of background industry situation that a lot of the tea drinkers. Or tea lovers are not aware of, mm -hmm. and um, I personally, I don't have any issue with the tea like that as long as it's uh, clearly marked. Yeah, I agree. You know what I mean? I feel like uh, you make a Bai House oolong style oolong with uh, tea guan yin. That's a very interesting twist, uh, yeah. and not to mention nowadays it's very hard to find a really pinnacle great mm. Bai Hao. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, because sometimes people focus on the bug bitten. Right. So the bug bitten is a, a, a it's a part of its origin story, but nowadays it's not necessary. And that bug is not a special to anything. It's a tea bug that mm -hmm. many tea have. What right. gave the um, by how long that unique taste and stuff is the process and the situation that they had to save the summer batch that was bitten. Maybe one day I can do a video yeah, on that's interesting. a little bit more deep, explain what's so unique about this tea and... Um, yeah, I think so. I'm going to ask you guys if you're interested in that, leave a comment or give us a thumbs up. Let us know if you'd like to see a little bit more of the inner workings of biohealth processing. I'm definitely going to leave a comment because I <laughs> yeah. want to know. But I could always just ask her anytime. So if you want to see it, here on our channel, make sure you leave a comment. I'm definitely interested. And it, yeah, and leave a really... comment. Let me know if you're interested, because I see a lot of the tea marked. Uh, how should I say? It? Still, like every tea, there's a big range of good ones to yeah. bottom ones. Um, this tea name doesn't mean it's a good tea, right? So, right. Um, yeah, I think it might be an interesting topic. Let me know. And like we've always said, right, it really comes down to the taste. That's why we mm. want to taste the tea and figure out is that, you know, decent for the price and whatnot. Mm -hmm. That's what really mm -hmm. matters is mm -hmm. not really where exactly it came from or blah, blah, blah. Do you think we can sell this tea? Depends on the price. It for does. me, I still yeah. really yeah. care about the price. If you give me that, uh, you know, that kind of a price. Do you know what I'm trying the to say? Buy how the price. typical Taiwanese buy how oolong blah 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 price. I don't think I'm gonna buy those. Mm -hmm. I don't like that kind of. But a lot of them, in my opinion, is very overpriced for what they sell. So, but if this is a good price and yeah, you know, exactly. we just mark that and see. Not buy how. Yeah. No, by how you have another one. Yes, you yes. have another one. We'll have a whole series of not teas, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which I think is fun. 
and is educational at the same time. People, because right? it's not uncommon, people say, why is it called not longjing? We get that question a lot. So right? I think, and it gets the discussion started. Well, because it's processed like that, but blah, blah, blah. Like and they all have you. the background of fueling that. Uh, fueling that market, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I think. Um, that's lovely. So the color, in terms of the liquor color, when do you know your tea is done, right? The liquor color, this one for me is quite giving still. Yeah. yeah However, yeah. in my previous infusion, I would say the taste is dying there. Mm -hmm. Right? I would push that. I did a long steep. I would like to push that and see how that tastes. But I don't think I would keep going. Right. Right. Because, of course, I, I'm going to taste this infusion and see. But currently, my thought is... This might be it for it. Thank you. Chug it. No, it's hot. <laughs> I don't That's know. When so I, whenever I, I, I finish this, I just want to... Feels like shooters, right? <laughs> Sorry about my cell phone. Now that the deep uh, oxidation flavor yeah, comes yeah. off. So I'm going to ask Jen a question live here with you guys, well live, whatever, but like on camera with you guys, because I often struggle with what she was talking about just a minute ago, which is when do you dial, when do you dial down? When do you know it's done? So mm. we had some change in the flavor profile between yes. the second one and this one. I'm tasting this one. And I'm trying to be more, pay more attention to the flavor, and I do feel like some of the, uh, some of that sweet um, aroma, some of the sweet and the floral is really um, starting to be missing. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, you're like we are in the end phase of this tea, right? Mm -hmm. Would you agree? Yeah. I always push them so hard till they're basically just colorful water. And it's really bad. I don't, I don't think it's bad. It's but, always good. At some yeah. point, you even you commented the other day that you can notice because you always push that to mm. that you have your baseline set up, mm. right? Then you notice some teas when you push at that level, there's still a eh, there's still something there, but yeah. some teas are really really not even colorful liquor. Right. 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 So yeah. this this is a little bit surprising, I have to say. It's, and embarrassingly, it tastes better than a lot of quote unquote bai hao. Mm. Did you notice at some, fifth, it, right? Especially right? at fifth. Some of the bai hao we have with this kind of a ratio, you pretty much at the four, five, it's empty. Three, four, I think you're being right? generous. Right? It's yeah. empty. Yeah. Like empty. Yeah. This one is not. Not How, at all. What I keep brewing personally, I won't. Not because this one doesn't have any taste. Currently, it tastes like black tea. That full black tea underneath mm. comes really mm. out. Why I wouldn't? You're because right, yeah. why I like Bai Hao, right? I really love that uh, cheerful, fruity, and floral, right. that, um, that really happy outer layer. Mm -hmm. I call this the core. Now I have the right. core, a very uh, deep, uh, heavy oxidation. Yeah, with that, it's like a brisk black tea. Actually. Exactly. It's got some briskness to yes. it, like all that high. High th things got gone. ripped yeah. off, but if you Not don't ripped off, gently oh. removed. Oh. <laughs> You're right. Uh. <laughs> Those first infusions. Like, <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. And and is really it, pleasant. would you call this a spanned black tea? If we don't think oh, no. of this as a bai hao, this is just a tea. No. Do you call this a spanned tea? No. Not at no, all. No, it's quite delightful. Exactly. Actually. Right? Mm. I taste like a certain, almost a two, three, in, the second mm -hmm. or third infusion of a certain black tea would render similar taste. Yeah, absolutely. It's got me actually minus the jungle flavor in the Jian Hong realm, like it's got that brisk, mm. crisp freshness. There's no jungle note here, right? Like I would get maybe from a Jian Hong, but it has that real bright, lively. Like this, right. I want to. I'm in, I'm a little bit worried about my sleep this evening, to be honest. But hopefully oh, okay. I'll be okay. This right. is really lively. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. a pick me up tea. Yeah. It's a little bit hot. Don't do that. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes my reaction is not as fast as I wish I would. Anyway, I said I wouldn't brew it anymore, but... Do you want to do a smackdown? 
I'm gonna do a smackdown. It's been a long time since we did a smackdown. Right, this wouldn't be very, very strong, but my thought is I'm gonna let it brew for a long time mm -hmm. and we're gonna take a pause here and maybe re-spark in about five to 10 minutes mm -hmm. and do the final, final, for real final. So just for new I pushed people. the final for many times, right? That's right, that's right. So this is six, right? I think we're at five six. Five or six? Oh, it's five was the one we just oh, had. Oh, okay, six. So this is six, if I'm counting right. And I count this as a slightly less leaf because it was uni. Yeah, so. yeah. So I just want to explain for folks that are new, or it's been a while since we've done a tasting together where we've mm. done a smackdown. What a smackdown is, is a tasting technique where you brew the tea properly, uh, get the best out of the tea, assess it, and mm. then we're going to give it a real long infusion mm. and come back and see what's left. Mm. Okay, <laughs> last infusion, the smackdown. Curious to see the color here. I think it's going to be pretty deep. Mm. Yeah, it's quite deep. Yeah, very deep. It has that red tinge too. Oh, the temperature, I brewed that to pretty hot and it's still... Still not, pretty hot? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. It's not like, I wouldn't call that overly hot. Probably 50, 60-ish. Mm -hmm. The color is pretty similar. Pretty much the same as the previous infusion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the smell is still there. Yep. So it still has that fruity. Yeah, despite the uh, the long infusion though, I still feel like it's a little bit lighter. It gets lighter, huh? Yep. The color isn't there, but the taste gets yep. much lighter. In terms of that previous. black tea flavor we yep. were talking about, it's still yep. there. No mistaking that it's still there, but compared to the last infusion, a little bit less... Uh, the smell is still there. Mm. Nice. This set. is definitely done. This is never really yeah. done. Yeah. This is not flat. Not flat. No. Not flat. Not at all. But it's much, much. It's really weak. Mm. It's a very light tea, I would call. Mm. Mm. But this one is not as black tea as the previous one. This one for me is a back to maybe I'm a because we gave it a smackdown and actually pulled a little bit more mm. of those top Do notes. Do you feel out. that? A little bit, a little bit, like but the, mostly. The previous one, I feel like was really like I feel like mm. okay, that's a black tea. If I mm. didn't smell that, I just taste. For me, I was like a heavily black tea taste. This one is at least a, when I taste it. Okay, that's a baihao. It's a really light baihao oolong. Mm hmm. I don't know. I got the. Uh, I still feel like the bottom end. That black bottom end is. Oh, it's still there. Yeah, not what I would no. call light either, though. It's a oh. bit. I wouldn't say. I do think the tea is done, but I still. I feel lighter than the last infusion, but just a shade lighter. Not. Mm. Not quite gone. But again, I'm the one who pushes my tea till they're colorful water usually. So. It's still drinkable tea. Yeah. Yeah. This has been a really pleasant, a really lovely, not by how long. <laughs> yes, yes. Is that surprising though? Like it's really the like... The Taiwan Yin element is right? really surprising. Oh, I've never just, seen yes. a silver bud from any Taiwan Yin cultivar before. Yeah, because that's not the plug-in standard. Right, it's really interesting. Yeah, so just want to re-emphasize that. This tea is made with Anxi Taiwan Yin cultivar. Mm -hmm. How much did you taste that? Like, oh yeah, zero. Like like I was saying much earlier, in Guanyin Home, the black tea made from Ansi Taeguanyin cultivar, you, you have an element of Taeguanyin. You mm -hmm. can you can kind of uh, pull on it. Mm. The plucking though, this one is more similar to the Guanyin Home plucking standard. Mm -hmm. It's not waiting till the traditional like a wulong, right. you know, two full open leaves. This right. has a butt. Wulong yeah. cannot make with butt. Like yeah. a, like a a uh, traditional oolong process. So, so that makes that even more interesting that it's so mm. separate. Right? Right, because it's more similar to, let's say, a Guanyin Home plucking standard. So, mm -hmm. where is that? So, that's something I'm going to have to deliberate, maybe do a few side by sides and really dive into, figure it out. What do you think? Oh. <laughs> I just feel like it's a very interesting tea. I was just being goofy. Really interesting. I really right? like it. Right? Yeah. Like uh, this is really fun. Like uh, 
don't taste much of a jie guan and uh, very very strong reminiscent like i didn't even think this is not because how much i've sampled here is like that i just uh, old times i just assume those are just lower grade like it's not mm -hmm. what i want the you know high grade by how they have that now i'm wondering right yeah 80 percent process isn't that what we say yeah it is it is mm -hmm. indeed Anyway, very interesting tea. Share with us your thoughts. How is your experience with Bai How Do you like this tea? Well, this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoy watching us taste Did tea. I don't know. I don't know how to try start. No, that's perfect. I hope you enjoyed watching us sip this delicious Bai Hao Oolong. If you uh, like videos like this, please consider giving us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and uh, check out our website for all kinds of delicious tea. If you want to see a tea like this on our website, leave a comment down below, mm. let us know. Or any other tea, maybe you have a different favorite tea. You know, you can always leave a comment and say, hey, can you get XYZ tea? And we'll, we'll let you know if that's a possibility or not. Mm -hmm. And uh, did I already say the like, subscribe and all that? I think so. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. And until next time, keep, keep steeping. steeping.